death is the final and most permanent threat that we all face. However, some researchers believe that death should be treated as a disease that could be cured. Fortunately, there might be a way for us to achieve immortality through mind uploading technology. Mind upload is the concept of digitizing all the information in the brain with the aim of uploading it into a computer simulation that could be part of a robotic career. The technology comes with a philosophical burden. Suppose it works and you are able to upload your consciousness into a computer simulation. Who is that second you? Is it you or just another copy? According to the latest estimates, the brain is made up of 86 billion interconnected neurons, firing off different electrical signals all at once, creating what becomes our reality based on how these neurons interact. If we were able to capture all of this information and encode it somehow, then we would have a working model of a conscious brain, essentially creating a simulated brain on a computer. In 2016, Russian businessman Dmitry Itzkov launched the 2045 initiative, which aims to develop cybernetic immortality within the next 30 years. His goal is to map the human brain and transfer consciousness into a computer, allowing people to live much longer. He says that uploaded consciousness will either live in a computer simulation or as a hologram, or be transplanted into a robotic body. His approach will start by creating an avatar in a computer simulation that will be controlled by a human brain using a brain-computer interface. The next step will be to transplant a human brain into such an avatar after death, heralding the dawn of a new era for humanity, as he puts it. Another company joined the scene in 2018 with a different approach to the same problem. Necto wants to preserve your brain in microscopic detail using a unique chemical solution. They want to keep your brain intact for a long time, hoping that in the future scientists will be able to scan your brain and turn it into a computer simulation. The goal is noble and grand, but there's still a lot of doubt in the scientific community on whether the human brain can be fully replicated in a computer with its mental and emotional capabilities. Furthermore, this cybernetic immortality depends on technologies and discoveries that we haven't yet made.